We're here at L'Antica Pizzeria D'Amicale. It's one of the most famous pizzerias from Naples, Italy. It was even featured in Eat, Pray, Love, and this is their first U.S. location, and we're about to go try it. Super exciting. We're gonna eat so many pizzas. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm in love. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. actually importing uh, all the ingredients directly from Italy. We are doing the pizza exactly like in Naples, exactly. So they made this pizza with uh, tomato, mozzarella cheese, pecorino cheese, oil and basil. So the three different colors of, of Italian flag. And we have also the marinara, and it's, it's very, very simple. It's just tomato, oregano, oil, and uh, basil. We have also the cosacca that was called uh, the, the pizza for the poor people, because it's just tomato, pecorino cheese, and uh, oil. A different technique for the process of the dough. We do 24-hour levitation. We mix together some ingredients in a very weird way because the normal pizza don't do that and uh, that's uh, why the dough used to take so long to, to be raised uh, perfectly. At the end of 24 hours the, the dough is going to be stretched and to be cooked. The pizza is so big, so thin, uh, soft and crispy at the same time and the taste is so good and uh, even for me for the first time I said wow this pizza is so so good. We're about to try some pizzas. There is margarita, kusaka, and marinara. Should we try the margarita first? I'll try the margarita. And Should we do do, mix try? it up? Yeah, let's mix it All up. Right, I'm gonna try some of the marinara. Because I, I love garlic. <laughs> so they taught us a trick. Yeah, which is how to, to fold it. it in half and then flip it in. Like so. Oh, I love how juicy it is. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. The sauce is like perfectly sweet. It's like almost like a little bit soupy, which is so refreshing. And I love the crust. Oh, the crust is so good. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of thin crust, but it's not normally this, it's almost doughy, but mm -hmm. in a great way. It's like not crispy, but chewy. It's almost like mm -hmm. chewy, but like there's a nice bite to it. Yeah. I really like this type of crust. So good. Wow. Here you All go. Right. Thank you. Enjoy. I'm so excited for this. And I'm gonna try the Kosaka. Oh, this already smells amazing. It smells so good. I can, and you can see the garlic slices. Oh, that's perfect. Your breath's gonna smell bad afterwards, but it's worth it. Oh my God. That's so good. The cheese is subtle, but it's salty. Mm. It needs nothing else added to it. Really? I was gonna say for this one, the marinara, it's like normally we're so used to having cheese, but this one, like without cheese, it's almost like even more perfect. Like yeah. I love how because there's no cheese covering anything else, you taste the sauce, the tomato sauce, you taste the garlic, you taste the basil, and everything just like really just comes out at you. Yeah. yeah. So good. I've been living in LA for about uh, 18 years, but every time I was going back home, uh, before I even go to visit my parents, I would just uh, make a stop at uh, Da Michele. Pizzeria Da Michele has kept the value, the structure, the ingredients, uh, the philosophy, everything from the original location, the same since inception. One day, joking, five, six years ago, I said, uh, how about we open a pizzeria in Hollywood? And uh, they said no. Then years uh, later, I asked again. They said, okay, it's a possibility. Do you have a serious plan? I said, uh, oh yeah. We put together a place that feels like home, that has great vibes, that makes people happy when they come here. So I flew in here from New York, and New York, you know, is like famous for pizza too, but this, it's truly something that I've never had before. Like I've been to so many different countries, but none of them have pizza that tastes like good. This is 
amazing. This is not your American fast food pizza joint. This is classic, authentic Italian pizza you would only find in Italy. And now we have it here in LA. True. I'm, we'll be here every day. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs>